Welcome back, welcome back. This is still Wine the Morning. Thank you for staying with us. Uh, now we are on to our first conversation on youth and career. And our guest today has a story to tell. One that is more of go big or go home. So he'll tell us about his career journey, what he's currently doing, and hopefully his story will inspire you to push on with your career and go for your passion uh, in Mate's career. Welcome, uh, Maurice Kimato. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Glad to have you with us. Thank you. All right, so tell us uh, who you are first and what you do. Um, my name is Maurice Kimatu. Mm -hmm. I'm the founder and the director of Goma Schools. Okay, yes. so what is, we want to know about Ngoma Schools. What is Ngoma Schools? What do you do there? Is it a formal school institution uh, or what is it? Uh, basically, Ngoma School is, uh, is, is an informal institution whereby we specialize in uh, registered private candidates, mm -hmm. giving them a second chance to, do, to sit for the exam mm -hmm. uh, as a private candidate. So we are running as an informal institution. Mm -hmm. The student don't need to come in school with uniform they don't need to follow the rules uh, to the latter as it is followed by the former schools. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what we do. We run the syllabus the way it is, both systems, Kenyan system and the British curriculum. Okay. So now um, you have, you said it's an informal institution. Now you're giving a second chance to students uh, who were not able to do the KCSE examination. Exactly. Uh, you find that there are some students who are not able to do their, their to complete their, their, their syllabus or their certificate mm -hmm. uh, due to different uh, reasons. Mm -hmm. You may find that there are some students who were, were expelled from the schools. Mm -hmm. There are some students who never got enough finance to facilitate for the fees. There are students maybe who are slow learners and they never got that opportunity. Mm -hmm. So we try to give a second chance to those students. Okay. All right. So they come to the school, mm -hmm. we take them through the syllabus the way it is, we register them to the uh, uh, to the neck exams, they do exams like any other students, regardless of their age, their background, their gender. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this is for students who are, you know, who had started uh, all the way up to maybe from four, and they dropped out for one reason or the other, or someone can just come in at uh, any form. Uh, well, uh, you, you find that in our institution, um, we have some students who came. Uh, simply because they were expelled, because of different reasons. Mm -hmm. They were rejected, they were expelled. Mm -hmm. Others, they, 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 they got early pregnancies. Mm -hmm. And maybe because of the stigma, they don't want to go back to the, the former school, they get back to the uniform or, or such. Mm -hmm. So we have that caliber of students, whereby they just not need to get to the formal, whereby they have to go the route to, to follow the rules. They are in a uniform and all that. So we have that caliber of students. There are other students who decide, you know what, I don't know. To, I don't need to go to back to, to the to the former school whereby I'm seen in uniform. I'm going to follow the rules and all that. Mm -hmm. So they decide to come to our center. So in our center, we are registering all the students, regardless of their maybe. Uh, um, but those have the problems or reasons which led to that, mm -hmm. or those maybe are willing to 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 to, to complete their uh, uh, certificate for uh, UC our institution. Okay, and I understand that you do your uh, teaching online. So how does it, how do you go about this all the way you do from enrollment until the examination period? Now I've enrolled as a student, so what next? Well, um, as far as the online is concerned, uh, let's talk about the mode of learning mm -hmm. in our center. You find that uh, we have students who physically come to class. All right. Right, because we have the teachers. We run the syllabus the way other schools are running the former schools, from eight to four, follow the scheme of work, mm -hmm. all right? So we have that one-on-one. -on -one. They come to class, the teachers come in class, they get their services, they go. Now we have this other student who has registered the exam from a different town, or maybe he or she cannot make to the, to the, to the, to the class. So that's why now we have developed now the e-learning, the e-learning e whereby we can teach the students online, either via Zoom platform, uh, Google Meet. And again, we came to realize that um, when we started, it was small. We never knew whether it will, it will blow. Mm -hmm. you know? So to some point, uh, there's some students who need some materials, or maybe they need to rewind for the, for the announcements which are given. So when we are doing the online on YouTube, you find that, for example, I'm doing math and chemistry. 
So you find maybe some students, we did, uh, let's talk of a topic like um, like integration in mathematics, for example. Mm -hmm. You may find that student was not satisfied or maybe that student uh, did not have enough time maybe to get the full content in class. So he or she needs to rewind. So on YouTube, we have listed, when you look on our YouTube, mm -hmm. we have listed the topics, mm -hmm. the way they are. If the topic is not yet covered, we have lecture one, lecture two. So maybe if we are doing integration, you may find that in lecture one, we did integration part one. In lecture two, we did integration maybe another subtopic. Then till the topic is fully covered. So doing it online, we are trying to reach the people who cannot make it to the center. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and you've said you grew from you know from a small place, and now you're you're doing it big. Actually, where we started is that um, it just started like once homeschooling. Mm -hmm. I, I go to to a home, uh, maybe you school is somewhere. I come, I teach your kid, exercise well, I teach and so. Because of those referrals, we were like, Malimu, where can you have somewhere where we can find you? And we want to get to that mm -hmm. uh, the story behind this, but first, how is how What's the statistics of, you know, the students enrolled, those that are actively enrolled in your school? Uh, well, um, I can say for the last four years, we have not registered less than 100 students, candidates. Mm -hmm. Every for year? For every year. For the last four years, mm -hmm. we have not registered the candidates mm -hmm. less than uh, 100. So now we want to talk about your career. Now, this career that you've chosen, I understand that this was not the one that you started with. So you went from journalism mm -hmm. to this. Mm -hmm. So t tell us about that. Well, um, when I completed my high school, uh, back in Makuen, Makuen mm -hmm. that is Makuen Boys, uh, I joined the University of Nairobi, mm -hmm. Mass Communication Journalism. Though it was not my thing, it is something which I, I, I was just pushed because of the parents. Because back then, um, class of 2012, you know, so back then is whereby the parents were to decide and they say, you know, uh, we need to be a doctor, we need you to be a pilot. Uh -huh. So it was kind of something which was chosen. For me, it was not my thing. For, sure. for me, I, grew up, I just needed to be not only a teacher, uh -huh. but I just wanted to see, to, to see students. That was my life. I see students, I own a school. That was my thing. You wanted to be a teacher. I wanted to be a I don't know whether it's a teacher. Teacher is a small word, mm -hmm. you know. But that was my, 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 my area. That was my area. So when um, I went for journalism, third year, we went for internship. Mm -hmm. So back then, the, the media was, I think, they, they were full. Kutafuta internship, it was a bit uh, difficult. You mm -hmm. go to KTN, they tell you, you know what, uh, wait, wait, you have to, to wait. You have to. So what I did, I went to a certain institution, mm -hmm. uh, and that is where I, I did my, my internship. So mm -hmm. I, I did literature. So whoever was to come lecture, I came, I can yangalia what I was doing. And uh, from that point, mm -hmm. uh, when we came back to school, I did my degree in Kamaliza. I completed com uh, uh, successfully. But I had some impact in the school where I was. So you it did your internship at a school? At a school. Uh -huh. you, know? you were teaching literature? Literature. Mm -hmm. Because uh, internship is, um, what, what do you do, you, you know? And what you have been learning in class, are you able to do it practically mm. out there? You know. So after I was done with my my degree program, I had I had created some impact to where I was. You see, okay, let me take you back. After third year, I had to defer my studies mm -hmm. because of one, two, three things, the fees and all that. So I used to do some tuitioning because during my internship period, I think it in India completely. So I used to do some tuitions here and there. So I think I built some rapport with the students, mm -hmm. and I said, "This is something I wanted to do, you know. Yeah. This, this, this is my area. I, I feel more comfortable here than You're being told. told yes, mm -hmm. than being told go somewhere, cover Asame. story, you know, Asame. cover story, yes. take to the producer, <laughs> let him edit or edit, uh -huh. then we premiere. So for me, it is like one, one thing. We are interacting one on one, you know. So that was my thing. So I say now." Um, Yes, I have the degree of journalism. Journalism, we have done mass English and Kiswahili. Mm -hmm. uh, when you get what I'm teaching, I'm doing mass and chemistry, right? Uh -huh. Something which is a bit different from what I from did. From what you did, yes. So, after I was done with my degree, we were all over looking for a job like any other citizen. Mm -hmm. And Citizen TV, KBC, all over, we are apply the CVs and all uh -huh. that. Uh -huh. Then, uh, I found it is like taking some time. So I said, uh, let me try. Uh, I go back to 
uh, maybe I look some works to, to, to schools and all that. Mm -hmm. So that's I secured a job at a school called Matrix Algebra. Mm -hmm. It is an institution. Uh, it's a big institution which deals with uh, what I'm doing currently. The registers private cards is an adult education center. You know. uh, oh, that is also an adult education adult, center? Yes, adult education center. So I taught there for, for around three years. And I build a good family with the students, with the parents and all that. There's even some parents approached me and said, you know, because I was doing math and chemistry. Mm -hmm. So my subject, the students were doing so well, you know. Being math and chemistry, they are like, they are their top scored subjects. But I would ask, before you continue, where did you uh, learn, you know, math and chemistry? Because this is not what you did in the university. Basically, all right, um, high school math, I got A minus. Mm -hmm. Chemistry, I got A minus. So, you so it was my thing, because what I believe, Stephanie, uh -huh. is that a teacher is born. A teacher is not trained. It is, it is a calling. Some a soldier like is college. born. Uh -huh. A soldier is not trained. A pastor is born. He's not trained. We just go to, to training, just to get that formality and the satisfaction and all that. Which is good. It is very much good. Mm -hmm. But for me, that's what I believe. So I started teaching, but only on a degree of mass communication. And I've been mass and chemistry. Mm -hmm. Right. So at this time now. So you're teaching with your high school knowledge. Then I'm teaching with my high school knowledge. Okay. Mm -hmm. The degree is there, but when I produce something totally different, right. it will take you to completely different mode. Mm -hmm. You know. So I taught for some while in that uh, institution I just told you, Matrix Algebra, up to 2017, 2018, and some parents approached me, told me, you know what, Maurice, why can't you try you uh, start your own institution? We are going to back you up. Mm -hmm. So all the way, I went all the way to Kajiado. You so know Kajiado town. So you stopped? I stopped. I've resigned. I've got to the office. Uh -huh. I told you what. I'm nini. I've told the students because I had the love of the students. You know? oh. So I had to tell them I'm going back to my studies. <laughs> you couldn't tell them the truth. I couldn't tell the truth because some others would say, where are you going? We have to, 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 to hammer with you. And because I didn't want to, to maybe to affect the school in one or the other and it, I needed to chase my dream because I'm here, I'm helping you to grow your career. This is something, this is my lineage of career, you know. Mm -hmm. So I said, why can't I try my own? So 2017, all the way to Kajiado, all right? So I'm there, I need to start my own institution. That I remember, it must be approved by Minister of Education. Mm -hmm. So there's some minimum requirements which I needed, you mm -hmm. know. So I'm there. I've, uh, Already I've decided my name of my institution, you know. Mm -hmm. I have, uh, I, I, I had to, to, to do some printing of some advertisement papers and all that. So that very day I went there and assessed and I had to find the facility first. Where am I going to have an institution? You know, that's the beginning of everything. Mm -hmm. So I had to locate the place, a place called KEG in, uh, in Kajado. Mm -hmm. So after that, I now too, this is the name I'm going to come up with. Minister knows, knows nothing. I don't have any students and I'm new in this town. It's just you and It is just dream. me. I'm just chasing my dream. <laughs> I have nothing. I have my briefcase. Mm -hmm. I have my certificates. Nothing else. At this time, when you're going to try, you know, you've quit your job. Weren't you, weren't, weren't you scared at any point that, you know, I might fail? Because this is something new. I'm, I'm trying. I'm going to a new place. I don't know if it will work or if it won't work. Were you scared? Did you have second thoughts about it? Well, um, of course, as a human being, mm -hmm. uh, you must have those questions. What is going to happen? What if you try and maybe you've not been able to certain the money? But uh, true enough, I did have enough money to do all these things. But it is just a passion. I said, let me go. I just going to budget myself. Going to get a maybe a, a, a maybe even if it is two rooms, mm -hmm. I pin a blackboard. I get some few books I had and bought. Then I advertise my school, and that's what I did. I went to Kajado. I go to a facility at, uh, in a church. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, they sub, KG is a big church. They have a big sanctuary. Mm -hmm. and they have some other churches which they begin. So that's how it's a facility for me. So when I got this um, uh, hall, so I now to look for students. Remember, I don't have any students. It's just you now and your hall and it your It is blood. me. <laughs> because where I was teaching is Rongai. Yeah. If Ogata Rongai. Mm -hmm. Let me not confuse with Ogata Rongai. We have Ogata Rongai. From Ogata Rongai to Kajado is a two different towns. Mm -hmm. So I don't have any students, you know. Yeah. So, and I don't know anybody. But something I need to do. What would you say would, was your drive, you know, because I'm trying to understand that how, That you know. was my thing. For me, Stephanie, 
um, I don't know how I can put it, but my life is in students. When I see students just make their life, mm -hmm. nurturing their talent, and they become people in the society, we make sense. That that's the, the joy in me. That keeps you going. Keeps me going. So it's the passion that it's fuels. It's passion. When you see the young yeah. ladies, the younger boys growing, the transition to be real men, mm -hmm. and the real women in the society, that's me. I don't need to force it. It comes naturally. It comes naturally. Mm -hmm. So there I am. Shule nitaitaji, goma schools. P.O. box. So I went to the cyber and I printed like 1,000 papers. For what? For advertisement or my institution. Mm -hmm. Because I, I have to, 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 to advertise. I have to put awareness. There's a new institution somewhere. It is with a sp uh, specialist in uh, registered private candidates. This is a system we are offering. We are located where... Mm -hmm. in, we have the phone numbers when you call, we give the fees and all that. This time around, I don't have teachers. So you have... The books I have, uh -huh. they are the course books. Huh? Mathematics, one, co one book. Chemistry, one book. Biology, one book. Physics, one book. All the way. All the subjects. One all book the subjects. One, subject. one piece of book. Okay. So I've gone to the cyber, I have the paper. So one night, I get some boys. And uh, that one night, mm -hmm. the following morning, when Kajado Town people woke up, all over the town, we had the posters, Goma schools, adult oh. education, deal specialized in registered private candidates, etc. These and these, and all that. Okay, that's why I started. Is, this is very interesting. Uh, let Let us take a short break and then we continue with your story okay, and you. uh, see where it went and how it, uh, you know, how you got to where you are now. Okay. So let's take the short break and we'll be back in a short while.